what's up guys my name is Khan and we're back today in scrap mechanic and oh goodness we're drifting backwards we need to fly and today we're going for a little bit of a flight but uh, really we're gonna turn around here and we're gonna come in for a landing so this is a, a little bit of a micro jet sort of a mini jet it's kind of cool very very small but it's uh it's meant to be scaled kind of towards the size of the hover city so you can see there you actually have to get in through a window and when you jump out you'll come out on top but we're gonna go in for a landing here we've got a nice runway down there and we're gonna roll oh goodness oh goodness oh goodness oh pitch up pitch up pitch up pitch up slow down pitch up drop the gear and amazing that's right guys this is the hover city airport this is a huge build took way too long to do um, upwards of 150,000 total blocks or something like that absolutely ridiculous hundreds and hundreds of thrusters but we can actually land and drive a plane around on top of a giant platform that hovers this plane's very very nice when you press one it'll actually activate flight mode now I've pressed one and I'm not off the ground and that's because you can see it's very 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 neutrally buoyant so four and five are pitch up and pitch down but they only use upwards thrusters. So if you press four and five, you see you can hover quite nicely, but it allows you to make those really nice takeoffs and landings. And of course, two and three are roll left and roll right, four and five being pitch up and pitch down, and uh, one turning that off, six deploying those gear, and seven actually activates reverse, because in this uh, airport, you do need to be able to move your planes around. So you can see there, we take the plane, just sort of very slowly tap the uh, throttle using W. W does control the back three engines. now. You'll notice there are no graphics for particles. Uh, this platform, really, you have to turn particles off. There's just so many thrusters underneath it supporting it that like particles do absolutely nothing. It just causes a little bit of lag, and mainly three quarters of them don't even render, so there's really no point. But uh, seven is for backwards there, so you just see we pull the plane in, just crouch to get out. And then, of course, we can activate this switch here and close those hangar doors. Boom, done. And there you go. Now the hangar does support a bigger plane. I might make a bigger style of passenger plane at some point in time. One where you don't necessarily have to jump in through the windows. But uh, for the Hover City, this plane will hold four people. And you can see there, you just sort of jump in through the windows to get into the cabin. And when you jump out, you'll appear on top of the plane. So it works out quite well. For some reason, these hangar doors like to lag when they're closed together. I don't know why. The bearings are the perfect distance. Like they don't collide or anything. They're not jamming into each other. Um, but for some reason they like to do that so I, I generally just leave them open and when you spawn the airport it will spawn with them open so it's not that big a deal. So let's just uh, take our plane out here because you know don't need them to hang. We got a bunch of spare parts here for no reason. Uh, we'll just jump up here get back in here. Oh crap. All right let's back her out. I mean I should probably build a tugger vehicle that would be nice but in the meantime we'll just be doing this. Back it up. All right, now we're gonna turn. So these yellow lines here are kind of cool. Uh, the, this is not really a big airport. It's, I mean, it's an international airport, but the Hover City itself is kind of a micro city. So it's like a micro airport per se. But uh, these yellow lines are really just to pull the jets up because you would walk out onto the tarmac to board your plane. So you, you have two spots here to pull, to pull planes in. Plus then you've got the lovely helipad. The helipad itself is actually just free floating above the ground. There's nothing supporting it. There's no jet thrusters. I mean, there's thrusters over there with the sensor and then, of course, at the end of the runway. So it just kind of floats between those two points. But uh, just a nice little helipad. Not very big, of course, because it is with the Hover City size. Everything's got to be scaled down. And that's really just meant for some small helicopters. Like, uh, it's. A, I think this helipad is the same size as the one on top of the hospital. I believe 20 blocks in diameter. So they should fit the same size of helicopter, but I'll have to check that. Then uh, coming over here again, we've got the lovely control tower. All right, we get into the top of the control tower. Oh, can't get, there we go. Uh, nothing too fancy in here, just, you know, a table, some lights, an air conditioning unit, power, little seat with sort of like a screen and some, uh, I guess, computers, controllers, I guess, kind of call them computers, maybe they're comm systems or whatever. Uh, and then of course, if you get in the seat, you can press that switch there and it'll flip down the radar screen and the uh, the radar on top of the control tower will spin. Now, I, I wanted to originally put maybe like another spinning radar screen in behind this one, but uh, couldn't really do it. 
just because it didn't have the space. This is, of course, a micro control tire. We'll just turn that off. But overall, pretty cool. You get a nice view there. You can see the plane down there. And if there are more planes coming in on the runway, you'd see all them too. And then, uh, of course, the very super secure uh, fence. This too high pipe piece prevents people from getting in and out of the. It prevents people from getting in and out of the Hover Airport. Um, not actually. This airport has probably the most lax security out of any airport that exists ever. So this is the terminal building. So you can see we've got Hover International. Um, it is the Hover International Airport. Quite awesome. There is no parking for it. The street section here though is kind of long and I did make this wider so you kind of just pull your cars up next to it. Eventually I will make a parking garage section that has like a car elevator and stuff in it but uh, you would just attach that section next to this one. But this section is an L corner, so it is a corner section. You can see we've got the gates here hooked up into uh, more gates here, into the wire mechanism, which goes across to here. And this seat will be removed, but it's just there to sort of get back up nice and easily. Overall, this section uses 502 thrusters, so it is quite a, uh, a large amount of thrusters. And you can see they're attached in little chunks here. And this is sort of to help balance the load. And then this chunk of thrusters here is actually the master load balancer, which allows it to tilt, sort of adjust itself for tilt. It just took a lot of thrusters and a lot of static thrusters to really get it going. But uh, it will sit very, very stable. So you can see here, if we come into the terminal building, this thing, it's pretty cool. I, I'm a big fan of it, but you've got a little bit of a waiting area here with just a little table and uh, some sort of divider thing. I guess you would set up more lines. Over here, you've got sort of your ticket counter and then your little luggage train. Now there aren't any bearings on this. I didn't want to cause stupid amounts of lag with the game because that's what would happen if you covered this whole thing with bearings. But you can see there, this would be your luggage and it would go right out onto the, uh, the runway there through that hole. But overall, you'd come up to your ticket counter and then this would be your security gate. So you'd have presumably some security guards and you'd come through security. But again, you could really just jump the fence. I mean, it's not really that secure of an airport. Then you've got some bathrooms. Always important to have some bathrooms. And then a nice waiting lobby area while you're waiting for your flight. And just some more chairs over here. So overall, a pretty small terminal building. Uh, nothing crazy about it, but uh, I really like it. And uh, I really like the fact that you can just sort of have this nice waiting room. And uh, then come out, get onto your plane, and go away from the Hover City. Overall, the build took a long, long time purely because of its sheer size. It wasn't one of those builds that uh, was necessarily difficult. I knew all the different pieces that I wanted to have in it, but it definitely just took a while because it had all the individual sections that needed to be done. But uh, I really, really like it. I really like the way it looks. I love the fact that this plane is just driving around on top of this Hover City and the platform is so massive, it just doesn't care. And even these little, these little connecting pieces between the runway and the platform are separate. There's no thrusters holding these up, but it just acts as a sort of bridge. And I really like the way that looks. So. As you can see there too, there are blinking lights on the runway. When you activate the hovering, those lights automatically turn on and they flash constantly and they flash in a sequence. So it will just flash every couple of, uh, every quarter of a second. So we're gonna back up here. All right, so assuming the control tower gives us permission to take off, we just throttle up with W, press one to activate those thrusters and then press five to pitch up and take off. And you can see there deploy the wheels with six, we're gonna roll left with two, pitch up, pitch up. This does use suspension glitches for roll and for uh, for yaw, as well as for steering on the ground. It has that front wheel that steers as well, but the suspension glitch in the back is still active. So uh, it does sometimes cause it some problems when you're reversing. But overall, I mean, the plane flies super, super smooth. It is very neutrally buoyant with those lip thrusters, which makes it really easy to fly around, really easy to control. Um, and of course, makes it really, really awesome for the hover city. So we're just gonna loop back here, come in for another landing. Here we go, oh goodness, pitch up, pitch up. There we go, perfect, straighten it out, straighten it out, roll back, pitch down, way off course now. It's okay, we're gonna come in, deploy those wheels, we're gonna drop down. And no runway space left. Oh, we're gonna lip off it, okay. We're gonna land from this side this time. Let's see if we can do it. Come in nice and slow. Rotate, rotate over, rotate, perfect, perfect. Roll back, deploy those landing gear. A little bit sideways, scrape the wing a little bit, but you know what, overall pretty good. Come to a stop there, perfect. Holding seven now to reverse. 
Now we did have a little bit of a scuff there when we were did the uh, touch and go, so we better take it into the shop, into the uh, hangar, make sure it gets repaired okay. All right, so we're gonna jump out, close up the hangar. Right, can't go out that way, that would make sense. Go like this, close up the hangar, perfect. A Little bit of lag, that's okay. Alrighty, we'll leave that playing for another day. This section, of course, doesn't have too much crazy circuitry, just a lot of thrusters and a lot of stability, but definitely the most stable section of the Hover City. No issues here. You can land pretty much any plane on it. Um, I'm going to try landing the DC-3 on it and see what happens. So to do that, it is definitely way too big to fit in the hangar. I know that for a fact, but we're going to see if it'll even land on the runway. So obviously this DC-3 is much, much bigger than the, uh, the private jet for the Hover City. This is a full size, not Hover City scale. But uh, I have not tried this before, but I'm very, very curious to see how strong this platform is. There is a lot of backup thrusters. There's a total of 36 backup thrusters on that, as well as the initial 40 that it uses as the primary thrusters, plus then the additional like 430 that are just there to lift the platform's weight and make it neutrally buoyant. So I have a funny feeling 40 thrusters will be enough, like 76 thrusters should be enough to hold the weight of this thing, but I'm not even sure if we can line it up. So we're gonna come in here, we're gonna roll down. We're gonna pitch the oh, we're gonna pitch the nose forward there. Drop the weight. Pitch that nose back a bit. Oh, we're definitely way too high. We're gonna we're just gonna fly over top here. Oh goodness. Wow. Well, um, right. We're just gonna cut a hole out of the DC three here. I needed a co-pilot. See, this is the problem without. Without that co-pilot, I'm just absolutely screwed. You can't you can't fly a plane like that without a co-pilot. Very hard to land on your own. But even with that giant collision with the hover platform, you can see it did bow down a little bit, but then it hit those secondaries and it booted itself right back up. Like that, you can have a DC-3 upside down and that plane is not meant to be light. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did like this video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have more suggestions for the Hover City, make sure you put those down below in the comments as well. I do read them all. I do have another big project coming up in the Hover City, but I think I'm going to spread it out for just a little bit more. But uh, this is the airport, which was definitely one of the biggest requests I've had so far. And uh, I will continue to read your requests and continue to do them. I think I'm going to put a few more of the Hover City essentials back in. So, for example, fire station, police, and all that sort of thing. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.